Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's nodes are the rectangle, ellipse, and triangle mask nodes. So we're going to jump into Fusion and to bring in our nodes for the rectangle node, you can find it up here in the toolbar right here. The ellipse node. And for the triangle node, we're going to have to hit shift spacebar and you can find your other nodes like this too. But we will type in triangle. It will add triangle node. Now I'm going to do all three of these together instead of just one node in a breakdown because they're pretty much all the same other than they're different shapes, obviously, but they operate basically the same with some few minor differences. So I'm going to go ahead and pin all these. And start going over them. So I'm going to go ahead and bring these in. And that's another good thing about all these mass nodes is you can input them in. And just remember when you do that, if we look at this triangle node up here, we don't have a paint mode, but if we look at our ellipse that we brought our mask into, we now have these paint modes, same with a triangle node. So you can uh, add it, merge it, subtract it, however you want, but we're going to leave it on merge and go ahead and pump that into our effects input on our footage. So all three nodes all have this show view controls. So if I check it, it shows the view controls and the view controls in the display are about the same. Some of them differ a little bit, but this center will move it around. You can bring it up, bring it to the side. You can turn it or change your angle. And where some of them differ are the uh, individual uh, size for resizing. So I can stretch it out, make it taller. And if I go down here in the corner, I can kind of free range rescale this. And the ellipse node, it's the same thing. All your center things do the same thing. Your sides stretch it out, your top and bottom stretch it out. But if you go here on the side, you can rescale it and they are locked. So you keep your perfect circle, perfect circle. On the triangle node, the one major difference is you have no center option. So it's not centered. So the only way you can change the shape of this node is by dragging your three corners wherever you want them. So that is the only difference as far as resizing on the three nodes. Now every single node has the filter options to change your filter. Same with a uh, soft edge. They all have the soft edge, same, same options. Your border width, they all have the same border width and your border styles do change. And to see this, we need to, uh, uncheck these, uh, solid boxes. So they're no longer solid. It will change our border width for our rectangle, our border width for our circle and our border width for our triangle. Now the border styles are primarily for the corners. So if you look here for the border style for the rectangle, it's a uh, beveled. We have rounded and you have mitered. So it's going to be a corner for the circle. You have no border styles because there is no uh, corners for the triangle. The only additional one is this miter clipped and what that means to be able to see this kind of have to change our triangle. So it's got a little sharper angle going. 
if you look down here, it's super sharp. But if we change it to just straight martyred, mitered and make it sharper, apparently, you can see that cuts off to a square. And if we leave it on mitered, it'll remain a pointy triangle. That's the only difference between those. And then all of them have the uh, same end caps, but to be able to see these end caps, we need to change the length. So I'll change the length of this rectangle. And that's what the uh, change length does. So we can change that on all of them. Change the length of our circle. And we can change the length on our triangle. Now the border caps, what they do is we'll look at our circle so, so we can see it is it's either square at the very end it's rounded and what it does is it adds a round edge from the end or it's squared adding a square from the edge and you can see the difference between squared and flat and that is the only difference and other than that our triangle really doesn't have any other options any additional options whereas our, our other two do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove our triangle so we can get it out of the way and concentrate on the differences of our ellipse and our rectangle. So if we jump further kind of into this, this border and what we can do with these borders, like I said, we can change the, the length of our borders and we can change our, our border width, make it wider, thinner. And we can change the position, which means it's gonna change the position of where our border starts. And what's kind of cool about this is you can animate this. So if you wanna put keyframes, you can animate it. So if we want it to go around, we can just uh, go to our circle and add a keyframe, go to the end, change our position, and now it's animated. And I'm gonna uncheck these uh, show controls. Now, I know a lot of us will just simply animate our angle so if I uh, go to our ellipse and let me uh, undo our animation. Is it still there? Oh, down here, sorry, wrong one. You might say, okay, well, let me go ahead and change the angle because I can make it go around. Say I want it to go around four times. I could uh, just keyframe this. Go to the end and what would that be four times would be 1440 so now if i play it it's going around four times which makes sense however if we were to uh change the size you notice now our whole thing is rotating and that might not be what you want you just want that border to rotate so what we could do is even though our position goes from zero to one, that's just uh, the default setting. So if I go back here and let me get rid of that keyframe and position, put a keyframe. Let me go back, put a keyframe at zero. If I go to the end, and I want this to be four, I can just type in four. And now our slider changed from zero to four. Not just, not just limited to one anymore. So now if we play it, it's going around four times towards the end. Same thing with our, uh, our square. If we wanted to keyframe it, go to the end, we wanted to go around eight times. Now our slider goes from zero to eight. So that's how you would change that position number. So you're not deadlocked into zero to one. So, and also remember, 
when uh, when you want to merge these together, you don't necessarily have to connect them straight like this. You can always use a multi-merge node. Bring one in. Bring this in. And, sorry, that automatically connects to your mass node. Just remember that. And it's the same thing. So we're just merging the two together. And we just don't have that paint option anymore on either of them. But it's pretty much the same thing. Now, another thing to note with these nodes is when you first bring these nodes in. So let's say we bring a node in. Notice the size of this. What this does is it brings it in the size of your project. So meaning I've got my timeline set up to 2048 by 1152, just 2K resolution. And that's what that is right there because our footage is actually 3840 by 2160. It's sitting at 4K. So that's one thing to remember with Fusion. So for example, in our timeline, if I have my project settings set up to 2048, it's automatically resizing my footage. And I can kind of show this by bringing in an actual 2048. And you can see they're both the same size. So your timeline and your edit page is actually resizing your footage automatically. But in Fusion, it's not doing this. And I, I went over this before. I just want to kind of remind you. So, for example, if we needed to merge, merge footage in. So I brought that in. Brought our smaller media in and put it. It's going to be smaller. And if you notice, it's the same size as our square. Because that's what my timeline set up at. But this could be a problem if, say, we brought in this as our background. And now I'm bringing in new footage. If you notice, we don't have our full footage there anymore. Because it's going off our background time, or background uh, size. So remember that when you're bringing in footage to make sure you're resizing and checking your size because Fusion doesn't automatically resize your footage. You have to go in and resize it yourself. So that is your rectangle, ellipse, and triangle mask nodes. I'll see you in the next node breakdown.